All right, so here's a brief example with um, mins and maxes graphically, um, continuing from the last video. So uh, here, you know, we have this function y equals h of x, and uh, it's got this goofy curvy thing going on. So here, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 6, negative 2, uh, 9, 4, and 10, 2. So uh, as usual, not to scale, but it doesn't really matter. So here, um, this is a local min, right? Local min, local max, local min, local max, local min. Uh, but what do we notice here? Uh, this negative 2, that's the smallest y value, right? So uh, there are no y values on this anywhere on this function that are smaller than negative 2. So this is actually a global min. Uh, but notice we have negative 2 again over here. So actually, um, we have a global min twice. But, uh, you know, there, there is only one global minimum value, okay? It's negative 2. But like we mentioned briefly in the last video, um, you could have that at multiple locations. So uh, the global minimum is negative 2, right? There's only one global minimum value, but it happens in two places in this example. Uh, here, at x equals negative 1 and at x equals 6, all right? So uh, that's the main point of this example here is you could have, um, you know, you could have a global min or a global max, but it, you, know, you only have one such value, but it might happen at more than one location, all right? So here, global minimum is negative 2, is y equals negative 2, at x equals negative 1, and the global minimum, or the global minimum, I should say, is y equals negative 2 at x equals 6. Okay, so again, the global minimum, only one value, but it happens at two different locations, negative 1 and 6. Um, so here, these are only local maxes, right? So there's no global max for this function, because the function just keeps going off uh, infinitely far this direction and in this direction. So uh, no matter you know how large of a y value you find on the function, you're always going to find a larger one, or you always can find a larger one. So uh, just the local max, local max, and a local min, but these are uh, local mins and global mins, right? So uh, one last time, global minimum is negative 2 at negative 1. Global minimum is still negative 2, but this time it happened, uh, it's happening at x equals 6, right? So that's uh, example 2 graphically with mins and maxes.